If you have your Bibles, would you open them, please, to 1 Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel ch chapter 16. Look at verse 10. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 10. And Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any of these. Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, Well, there remains yet the youngest. But behold, he, he keeps the sheep. Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down until he come hither. Verse 13, verse 12, let's keep reading, verse 12. And he sent and he brought him in. <clears throat> now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look upon. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him, for this is he. Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. Praise the God. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. And so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So I'd like to preach for a few moments uh, tonight from the 12th verse, where the Lord tells Samuel, Arise and anoint him. Hallelujah. Arise and anoint him. The devil is a liar. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege and the honor of everyone that you have assembled here in the house tonight, those that are watching this broadcast by television at a later date here in the United States and around the world, those that are listening by way of radio, CD, and those that are gathered here tonight. Father, we pray that you would lift us between the heavens and the earth. Father, I sense resistance in the spirit. And Lord, I know that is because you have gathered these young people in the house tonight. And the enemy does not want them to hear what thus saith the Lord. But we know that the enemy is defeated. And we come against you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus is against you. We command you to cease and desist your activity. You will not hinder the word from going forth. You will not hinder the word from entering the hearts and the minds of every single person within the sound of my voice. You are defeated and we cast you out from our midst. We ask, O oh Father, that your warring angels would take residence round about this house now. May the fire of God surround us. That the hedge which God places around us now cannot be broken through. We ask that an open door of utterance would be given to us that we might behold wondrous things out of thy law. Speak to us, Father. Let the Spirit of the Father speak. And Father, we thank you for it. We plead the blood of Jesus over everyone in this house. And over myself, O oh Father, I ask you to anoint me. I need you now to open my mouth, to quicken my mind, and to strengthen my body, that we might speak thy word. And Father, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. All God's people say, amen and amen. <laughs> we pick up the story in this story. You know, when we had youth night, I, I didn't know who would show up. And I see a lot of young teenagers, a lot of young people here. A lot of young older people here. <laughs> But I want to tell the young people here tonight, I didn't come by here to preach at you. Tell you what you need to do. But I came to call you to something. I came to call you to 
a destiny that has been set before you in this hour. The story I read to you, I don't know if you're familiar with your Bible, those of you that are, but the Bible says that the prophet Samuel was told by God to go to a man's house by the name of Jesse. Israel had asked God for a king. Israel wanted to be like the rest of the nations. And so they got ahead of God. And he did give them a king. But this king was not a king that was after the heart of the Lord. And so under his leadership, the nation of Israel began to seep into idolatry. Began to act like the rest of the world. And this grieved the heart of God. It broke his heart. He desired a leader for his people that would lead them to the things of God. But what was given to the people was a leader who instead of following God began to lead the people away from God. He was quick to disobey the Lord. David was a young man who grew up in a society that had failed leadership. Hello? And young people in the house tonight, I want to apologize to you. Because this world is screwed up. Amen. You are a generation that has grown up in the 21st century. When I grew up, we still used to dry our clothes by, 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 by a little handle and two rubber things, and we'd put it through there, and Grandma would hang it on the line. Hmm? There was no cell phone. Oh, my God, how did you live? <laughs> there was no Internet. No broadband, no 3G network, no iPhone, no iPad, no Facebook, thank God. (laughs) We couldn't tweet or Twitter. Hmm? (laughs) My Lord. But you are a generation that has grown up in a world that is moving faster than any generation has ever witnessed before. And you are hit and inundated with images and and hit with, with, with ideas and concepts from an adult generation that is trying to steal your heart. It is our fault that you've grown up in a nation where your mothers and fathers don't stay together anymore. Boy, it's awful quiet in this Baptist church. Man. Mm, mm, mm. Or you grow up in a home where daddy doesn't come home or, 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 you, or you've heard your parents yelling and screaming at each other. Or, or maybe you haven't seen your father since the day you were born. Or maybe mother's gone. I don't know what your situation is. But I know that it's not easy for you. And I know when you go to school, it's a violent place to go. And I know the pressures that you feel to be like what they tell you to be like. We all got to be like Beyonce or Jay-Z or whoever it may be. Or am I too old? Is there somebody new? Shakira or whatever they call her? I don't know. (laughs) I'd say Barbara Streisand, but you all would know who I'm talking about. (laughs) 